Hey, Kevin. What are you doing? Trying to get grounded. <laughs> Had a question the other day. Guy was wondering about how to get a good ground on his table or on his work because he was getting zapped a little bit, getting a little shock off of his take off of his uh, work while he was welding. So I figured, yeah, let's talk about it. So lots of different kinds of ground clamps. This one came with the longevity machine. This is the one off of the AHP, the TIG welder and a multi-purpose machine, respectively. And I thought, well, this is kind of interesting the way they do this. So come here, let me show you inside the clamp. So you see inside the clamp, the, uh, the ground strap hooks up over here on this terminal, on this lug, and you've got this nice big copper uh, contact clamp in here, and another copper contact clamp on the other side of the clamp, and then you've got this little copper sheet that runs inside the clamp itself. And if you look right here, you see it's been overheated already, or, or it arced a little bit. You know, something happened right there, and it's caused it to burn away a little bit. So eventually what's going to happen is this will burn all the way through. This side of the clamp will no longer conduct electricity. You know, it'll only be this side of the clamp that does, it, does its job. So on the other clamp, let me show you inside that one. See, this is the AHP clamp off AHP TIG welder. And again, they hook it up through a lug. You hook your ground cable up through a lug into a contact patch, you know, a contact pad inside the clamp, another pad on the other side, and then they've got this heavy copper woven cable that runs back and forth between the two of them. So a lot better at carrying the higher amounts of current than that thin little piece of copper in the other clamp. But these are just, you know, some kind of mystery metal. You know, so, you know, a piece of steel or a piece of plated or something in there. No, they're not copper. So it, these may heat up a little quicker. They may not carry the current quite as well as the copper contact points in the other clamp do. Well, let me show you a different clamp now. So a big monster clamp as compared to the other one. So a nice big heavy spring, you know, takes a good amount of hand strength to work it. Uh, teeth in the jaw, so it'll help to dig in a little bit when you put it on a piece of metal, wiggle it back and forth, it'll get a nice good contact inside there. And instead of having a, 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 a stud with a nut to hook up your cable, this actually has a bolt that goes down inside this cylinder. And you look up inside, it's got a little contact pad in here, this little cylinder, this little piece right here. So you would bear the end of your cable, twist it just a little bit, you know, neaten it up a little. I like to solder them so it's all one chunk rather than loose copper through the clamp inside the ground, tighten this guy up, and then you come in with a pair of pliers and just squeeze this shut. And that way all of the pull and tug and what have you is on this clamp and on the, the body of the, of the ground itself rather than pulling on your ground and having your ground come loose. And now, what do you, what do, you do with it? You know, where do you hook it? How do you hook it up? So you're not going to have a, you know, a shock problem. So now if you're just working at a metal bench, uh, I find myself doing this a lot where I'll just come in with my clamp and I'll either have a, I'll either grind myself a nice clean spot on the, on the bench somewhere where I can hook up the ground, you know, tuck it in out of the way so I'm not tripping over the darn thing. But what happens there is now your table is part of the ground. So yeah, you can take your metal piece and just set it up on the table, but if you lean up against it, you know, like I find myself on, like I find myself doing when I'm TIG welding, you know, doing something small, is I'll wind up resting my arms against the table. Now you're setting yourself up for a shock. So a way around that, just hook your ground to your work if you can. You know, so, you know, someplace on your work, you know, these are some bells I was going to make. You know, right now, I, I can't get a ground on there anyways. I can't get the clamp on unless I just want to lay them down and go up inside the piece. A way around that. Get you a big clamp.
to some kind of big welding clamp, clean off a spot or two on the metal itself. So you can put the clamp right on there. So it's bare metal to bare metal. So it's bare metal to bare metal. You know, now you've got a big heavy clamp on it. Now you can come in with your ground, go right onto the clamp. Now your work is still grounded, not your table. So now as long as you're not leaning up against the work itself, you shouldn't have a shock hazard. Shouldn't be any, any problem there at all. So that's something you can do if your piece is big enough, you know, like get a clamp on it. But what happens if you're working on some little tiny piece? You know, you can't get your ground clamp to it. It's going to be all out of, out of alignment. You know, you're not going to have it in a jig or something. But you want to hold this thing, you know, small and tight and together. You want to be able to get in there and put some welds on it. Okay, clamp it to the bench. That will keep it from moving. That will allow you to, you know, ground to the bench. Okay, now you're all set there. But you still have that problem leaning up against the table. Welding sleeves, you know, they, they just go on just like a regular old sleeve. But they'll keep your bare arm off the table. They'll protect you from, you know, the radiation, you know, the ultraviolet radiation from the weld itself. They are uh, heat protection also. So if you lean up against the hot piece of metal, you're not going to burn yourself. But this way, you're not part of the ground. Right? That's one way to get around it. The other way, just throw a glove on the table. You know, and you can lean up against that somehow you know, to keep yourself off the table. Safety equipment, you know. You should be wearing these anyways. You know, you're doing any kind of TIG work. If you're doing MIG work, you know, long sleeves, you know, some kind of gauntlet, keep you from getting into all the stuff that you're not supposed to. Thanks for watching. You know, if you have any other questions, just you know, tell, you know, write me a little note or something. Don't forget to come out and sign up for my newsletter. You know, come visit my website, see what's going on out there. We got a newsletter, uh, all kinds of interesting things going on there on the site itself, as well as the videos on YouTube. I'm going to go back to work. I'll see you guys next time.